Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this really cool old electronically ballasted Panasonic CFL bulb. Now this is when the electronically ballasted CFLs were coming out and it was a really cool thing. You can see they wanted to show it off here with this picture of how thin and light it is compared to the magnetically ballasted CFLs of the time. So this is a nice piece of CFL history and showing in how they changed and became what it is today and how it's slowly fading away to LEDs. So anyway, here we have a very nice Panasonic electronic twin tube capsule, as they called it. I didn't pay $7 for this. I actually got it for free, which was very nice of the people at the ReStore. And um, there we have the bulb itself. On the side of the packaging, we have more information about it. You pause if you'd like to read any of it. It's 27 watts equals a 100 watt incandescent bulbs. This is one of the bigger CFLs for the time. It was pretty hard to get it to be such a bright light output. You can see the lumens there as well. Warm color. Made in Japan. Panasonic made some really good quality CFLs at the time. I don't know if they make them anymore. I don't think so. So we'll slide that out of its nice little carton there. And we have our styrofoam here. And there's the bulb itself. So this definitely is a lot lighter than the magnetically ballasted CFLs of the time. You want to see if you can... You can kind of hear the ballast waddling around in there. Rattling around in there. Of course it's electronic. So we have some vents here. Just to keep it cool. We have a very nice the light here. The tubes itself are pretty nice. Uh, they did use the same type of tubes for their PL preheat bulbs at the time, which I have a couple of, which I believe are in a very similar package to this, but without the styrofoam. So here they took that light capsule that they had, which went with a PL adapter, and put it directly into a electronically ballasted base for consumer regular use. Very cool, unique, and hard to find bulb. Here we can see the Etch Panasonic, made in Japan. On the other side, we'll find our light capsules, what they Panasonic like to call their bulbs. 27 watt, 120 volt warm color is also what they like to use. It equals uh, 2700K. And another thing here, might be holding this upside down. I don't know. I think that's a 90, or it could be a 6. There's some Japanese um, characters here. Maybe that's the correct way. I don't know. So this could be the correct way, or this could be the correct way. But if somebody knows what those mean, or can translate them, that would be pretty neat. So, really nice and well-built bulb. I think I've only turned it on once just to make sure it actually worked. But let's go ahead and turn it on for all of you. Turn off our main light and let's give this nice old electronically ballasted CFL a whirl. And there we go. It's going to take a little bit to warm up just because it's got to reach all the tubes with its mercury vapor there. You know, I see a little bit of end blackening there. But that's pretty common on these older CFLs, even when they're brand new, I've noticed. When this thing does get to full brightness, it most definitely equals a 100 watt bulb, but it'll just take a little time to do so. If I hold it above the camera here, it's probably right now about equaling a uh, 50 watt incandescent bulb. It'll reach its way there. It takes quite a long time, and I don't know if we'll wait for that, but a very nice, well-built electronic CFL of that time period when magnetically ballasted ones were the big thing. Take a look down the center there. Really cool. You can kind of see inside there just a little bit. There you can kind of see inside. Very cool. Very unique design as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of my Panasonic electronic twin light capsule. CFL. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much.
for watching.